Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It looks like we are starting the next world and both paths seem to lead to the spot whether it's from the secret exit of that haunted house down there or you know the uh, ghost house down there or the exit to I mean the finishing of the rock candy mines. But anyway, I'm babbling. Let's start the meringue clouds. Dash one. Land of the flying blocks. I'm guessing it's more the like the angel blocks, per se. Or maybe they're just called flying blocks. And, uh, give me an acorn, that would be nice in a flying area. <laughs> or you can just have a bunch of squirrels, I suppose that works as well, because I suppose I could bounce off their heads somewhere along the lines. Maybe. And, whoa! Jeez, did not expect that. <laughs> There's coins in bubbles for some reason. Oh god, what is this? See? C C closed captioning something I don't know. <laughs> oh God, um, I'm scared a coin is gonna pop out somewhere. Uh, oh, I bet you I need that. I no, but I bet you I do need that for something. So I'm gonna grab that and take it along with me. Maybe I have to go inside one of those pipes at the ceiling if there is such a thing as a ceiling in this place because we're outside. <laughs> Mm, well, I suppose you could call like clouds a ceiling, even though you can walk right through them if you, you know, actually touch or could touch the clouds because you know they're they're essentially evaporated water and they wouldn't stop you. But I think you get what I mean here. <laughs> it's a proverbial ceiling of sorts. Uh, whee! So now I must be cautious and stay on the lower route, I guess, for the spring. Good. Uh, maybe it's to get up to that red pipe, maybe? Yeah! I don't know. Well, that coin is up there. I don't know if that's... I'm supposed to aim for that coin, aren't I? Or maybe not. Oh, there's a... Okay, that's interesting. I bet you I have to wall kick once I get out of here then. Like that! Oh, jeez! Well, I suppose that works, or I could bounce off a squirrel. Well, I found two coins immediately, so cut. Alright, so we're back up here, and I know I don't have to worry about falling to my doom because of this, so yeah. Now, about this coin, the wall jump is clearly not the solution. Or at least not the direct solution. Ah! <laughs> what if it's like that? Oh, okay, I see. What does that give me? Well, that gives me death, but it also gives me a mushroom. <laughs> But actually, it wouldn't have given me death if I wouldn't have hit the squirrel, but I guess that's the solution. You just jump back from those blocks on the right side, and, you'll, and a platform will automatically appear under the blocks. Convenient. <laughs> Once again, we're here. Oh, I missed the coin. Whatever. <laughs> I could go back for it, but I don't care that much. Now... Wait for those, climb up on here, and then jump for the coin. There we go. And grab, yes, an acorn! And I lost it immediately. Where's the midpoint of this thing? <laughs> I'm tired of losing coins. I've been through that path a bunch of times now. Um, please tell me the midpoint is after this, or there's a secret that leads to a midpoint. I don't know. <laughs> but I want a midpoint, dang it. There is a midpoint, okay. I knew one was coming up eventually. Mm, nothing special there, I suppose. Unless you count coins as being special, and I highly doubt that. And I'm gonna kill that prana plant just because it's gonna be fun. Wow, these d <laughs> there's a lot of coin blocks popping out of here. Well, whatever kind of blocks they are. Some might contain coins, some might not. And I'm wondering if, if one of those pipes contains something. Just a little worried about that. <laughs> for obvious reasons, but they seem rather inaccessible, so I'm gonna assume that they didn't. Oh wait, there's... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> that works. Mm, I don't... Oh my god, there's so many pipes. This could be a, a place that could have a secret exit. Is there any indication that one of these might have something? I don't see anything, unless they're gonna be ones guarded by piranha plants, and I bet you this is the end of the level. Yep, just as I thought, because we're making a 
staircase of blocks. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Woo! Not too hard of a level, although it was uh, kind of tricky figuring out how to get the uh, first, I mean the second coin, excuse me. And it's a split path! Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to figure out how to get into that mushroom house. Hmm. Later. I don't feel like doing that now. <laughs> Especially since it'll kind of mess up the order of the stuff that I'm doing here. So let's go to... This is number two, so I guess this is next Seesaw Shrooms. I'm guessing they're going to be like the ones from... Uh, Super Mario World where you oh no wait they're, they're these kinds where you stand on one end and the other end goes up like so How tactile are these I should test that very tactile you don't have to worry about falling off these things at all But you might have to use them for um, You know to get some height on your jumps or something or maybe your need to be low or something you never know uh, And you also might need a Yoshi <laughs> That is definitely a given. Well, <clears throat> well, not a given because uh, the you could use a um, acorn as well, so those would work just as well, I suppose. Uh, hmm. Careful! Oh God! Because <laughs> I seen that one was gonna hop, and I I didn't know. I was trying to time it so I would jump on top of it, and it wouldn't jump on me, but I kind of failed. But whatever, I survived, and I still have my Yoshi. It's all good in the hood. I'm wondering if one of those pipes contains something. No, I guess not. Any of these pipes could contain something, actually. You never know with Mario. And is that shell controlling the tilt of the... No, it's not. I thought I was controlling the tilt of the platform there at first. Wait a second. Anything? I guess not. for getting five berries. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Why are you here? <laughs> uh, what's that up there? Can I eat the Lakitu and safely get its cloud? Yes, I can. Okay. Maybe this is... Yes, it is telling me that there's something up here. I'm gonna stay on the upper route. Every time I see a Lakitu in new Super Mario Brothers games, I'm always worried that something is gonna be hidden in the high, high sky, and I am right most of the time on that. <laughs> so... Oh, it's definitely something inside that pipe. That is for certain! <laughs> Coins are indicating that you could go in there, so that's why I figured. Oh... Too easy. <laughs> I could even get the rest of the coins if I wanted to, because there's no opposition in the slightest. Although, if I didn't have Yoshi, I wouldn't have been able to get that coin so easily. Again, though, if I had a, uh, um, oh, jeez, no, 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 if I had a, um, oh, whatever. <laughs> if I had a squirrel suit, I would have been fine, but, eh. It all worked out. Course clear, and I'm doing much, much better than I was doing in the last part despite it being the same day so I think I'm going to do one more level oh and that's definitely Kemek up there I was thinking about that more yeah definitely him switch back hill in meringue clouds dash three I don't know what they mean by switch back but I guess I will soon find out oh the Okay, I see. <laughs> when you stand on the platform, they move forward. When you jump off, they move back. Got it. <laughs> At least I think that's how they work. I should test it out on this first one here, just to be sure. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so there's probably another uh, platform in the up right there that I gotta use to get to that first coin, and I refuse to leave without it. This one's a really easy one to get. Gotta make sure I don't hit a bullet bill. There we go. And continue. This has been actually a pretty easy world so far, but I wouldn't be surprised if they threw a few curveballs along the way if I yeah <laughs> if I know them well. Uh, there's these rotational bullet bill cannons. They are kind of new, I suppose, to you. Although, I'm not sure if they're in the 
New Super Mario Brothers Wii, but they were definitely in the DS one. <laughs> I want to see what's up here. Nothing really? Okay. Well, I hear a, a slot machine block somewhere around here. I'm sure you hear that too. Maybe it's indicated by the flowers? <laughs> oh, wait, I see. There's a little... I, didn't, I totally missed this little cutout in the wall here. Alright, let's try... Oh, I already have an ice flower. I was gonna say that's the best prize here, but let's go for a life. Uh, Yo! <laughs> oh, and I guess I'm supposed to use that platform to get up there after all. I didn't need a bullet build to get over there, I suppose. I should stand on the, the back side of the platform whenever it's moving and like when it's moving to the right I should stand on the left side. Because when I jump up then the platform would be Why did I do that? <laughs> ah whatever. I figured there was something there just because that little cutout. But yeah I should stand on the opposite side of the platform when it's moving in a specific direction just so that I have time to react and land on the center of the platform as opposed to the tippy tippy edge of it. Oh god. <laughs> that wasn't too bad actually. Just gotta watch yourself. Moving on, and did I miss anything? No, okay, I don't think I did. Anything? No, okay. Always gotta look out for those clouds too. You can't trust the cloud. <laughs> um, there's these for. Yep. No, there's a bunch of coins just hanging out inside the cloud, and coins apparently weigh down those platforms. Interesting. Or at least they make a move. I guess it's whenever a sprite is on one of the platforms it makes a move. Okay, how do you get down there? <laughs> Did I miss something? Well, I think it's too late now. Or is it? Because it looks like the, in the, the indication was that it's... You get in from the left side. Oh, you get in there from down there. I hope that's not where thir the third coin is. That would make me sad. Um, I bet the star coin, though, is going to be land on top of that platform. Yup! I thought so! Because I noticed the coins, they activated the platform, so that seems like the perfect way to screw you out of a star coin. And it's just dangling there above my head, out of my reach. Or is it? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, that was kind of mean. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to... Wait, wait, wait. I got the midpoint, right? <laughs> Why not just do that? Rather than start the level all the way from the beginning. Because I got the first two star coins. You know, before the midpoint, so it's like, whatever at this point. <laughs> Alright, so we are here, and now I can also see what that secret is way way down at the bottom there in full you know right down here and is it just coins or is there more to it because i've seen there this is, uh, not not there because <laughs> i've seen there is a little extra space there and i thought it might have something maybe a secret exit maybe not you never know and i gotta get ahead of the game wait actually no i don't because uh the coin is gonna fall down on its own as I am getting to that side, so all I have to do is be there in time, and I have to be like, around here should be good. There we go. Perfecto! And there's an infinite life chance here by doing the Koopa shell on the staircase trickeroonie. And you can also use bullet bills to get up to the flagpole! You can abuse bullet bills because they stay on the screen for a while and they're pretty slow, so you can use them to get up to certain spots you wouldn't normally get up to. But anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I think that's a good time to do so, and then uh, I'll see you in the next part, I suppose. I hope you enjoyed.